Our residents are really driven. They want to excel. They want to take great care of patients. So our residency uh, really focuses on acute care surgery. The philosophy is you learn the most by taking care of the sickest patients. Part of what makes a residency appealing is how well your experience is as a surgeon. Do you get to do all the cases? Are you fighting with the fellows to get a cases of a particular level? And in surgical oncology as a whole at Rhode Island, we don't have fellows. So every case in oncology is done by a resident and is done by a resident at the appropriate level. So I think one of the best things about this program uh, for residents that are coming in is that you are gonna be a surgeon from day one. Fairly aware to have a program of our size where there are not a lot of fellows. And as a resident, that's what you want because you don't want to be competing uh, with fellows for cases. The sense and the culture and the expectation that you know you come in to be a surgeon, so you're operating from day one. I really like working with the residents because they keep me on my A game, keep me up to date in my practice, and it's kind of like the research world. You have to prove everything that you do and say, and kind of the same thing with residents. You know, Brown Surgical Associates, you think of just surgery, doing operation, taking care of patients in the hospital, but there's a whole other side to our mission, and that's both education, which is the residency program, and also research. As a surgeon, I'm uniquely positioned to kind of take on projects or research opportunities that are unique for surgeons. General surgery residents who rotate through the colorectal surgery division are immediately introduced to cutting edge surgery. Innovation to me is creating value to really leverage that sort of clinical uh, assets we have, and then and this is a, again an opportunity for residents while they're training. The Miriam Hospital is a unique experience uh, at the residency. The Miriam really uh, focuses on uh, the GI surgery aspects of it, especially in, uh, incorporating minimally invasive uh, technology. If you're thinking about robotic surgery, which is something that a lot of our residents are interested in training because there's really a huge potential for futures of surgery. You know, we really utilize the most up-to-date technology that's available. We have a very high volume here, a very busy trauma center, and accordingly, our residents get a lot of learning. That training is invaluable. For the rest of their career after training here, they're gonna be able to take care of the sickest patients. I specialize in uh, surgery of the liver and pancreas. It's predominantly cancer surgery, and it's a lot of big operations. It's Whipple procedures, it's liver resections. And I think one of the strengths of our residency program is that the residents do all of those cases. It's amazing how quickly the residents kind of mature and come into their own over a span of just a few short years. This program meant a lot for me. Um, I was here as a student before I actually came here as, as a resident. And uh, when I saw the environment, when I saw the professors, when I saw the surgeries, I told myself, and at the time, my girlfriend, we gotta come here. Since I come you know, from another country, it was very hard to come here. So I put a lot of work into it. I was a preliminary resident for two years, and then I managed to get a spot here as a categorical, which was the best day of my life. There's two things that, that I think are very important. Number one is the clinical volume. Um, I, when I was looking for jobs, I was going to have a job where I did 50% of my time as a researcher and 50% of my time as a clinician. Another big reason to come back uh, is mentorship. You know, I had a great uh, line of mentors when I was a resident. There are some really world-renowned experts at Brown University that I've become collaborating uh, with. I think one of the great things about this program, I knew that there was a supportive environment here. I think, you know, in the sense of diversity, when we talk about diversity, I think for me it's like life experience because people that come from different walks of life, they bring something to the table and bring something to the solution. Every field of surgery has women in it. Um, so there's a lot of representation. There's a lot of mentorship just from uh, academic point of view, but hey, this is what is happening in my personal life and understanding where you're coming from and the choices that you make are affected sometimes by your personal life. Um, so it does keep you on your toes. New sets of residents come. They may be asking the same question, but in a different way. I, I welcome the opportunity to be, to be challenged. Uh, as to why we do certain things in a certain way. Sometimes they have better ideas. So that, again, creates an opportunity to create knowledge. So I, I like that sort of a 
create a tension with the residents, yeah. Teaching residents is, I think, a privilege. I personally feel that my mentors have taught me a lot, but my students have taught me more than, than they. And residency is a time of just huge personal growth. You know, I was really impressed when I started here to see how many of the residents in this program are parents, especially moms. Um, that was something a little bit different from uh, what I'd seen elsewhere. Um, I actually delivered my son about a month after our current administrative chief resident uh, had her son. And while we were both on our maternity leave, we were able to get together for coffee in our neighborhood with our sons and strollers. And that was really special. I mean, the, the residency, I think, is really the, the heart of this department. I think it's an important mission for all of us who are here. For me as a site director, I think I give the opportunity to get someone who was really fresh from medical school, who really has a desire to be a surgeon, but to then see him through a really a competent surgeon in five years. Everybody comes from a really great place where they want to take great care of patients and strive towards excellence. So that makes it very easy to teach them. To get feedback from them saying, you know, I really am well trained and thank you. Or their mentor, or their boss, whoever calls you up and says, you guys did a great job. I always love to get those phone calls. For the rest of that person's career there, I'm gonna be getting feedback from their superiors, how happy they are. And that's really a great thing. Um, that shows you that all the dedication and the work that you put in pays off in the end. I'm on the strongest and the most reliable doctors that you can have, uh, especially in this hospital. I'm very, very proud of the way that, you know, I was trained, the way that they are trained, trying to pass on the knowledge, the technical abilities, the, you know, the research capabilities, everything to the next generation is one of the best things you can do. And it makes them better, it makes you better, and also the most important thing is that it makes patients better.